Like I'm giving you guys like all the real raw numbers. Genuinely, who gives a shit? How fun is that? Can't start the new year first vlog without looking for my tripod. Today's the only day that is one, two, two, three, one, three. I did not want to start my year like this, but it's okay. It's New Year's. Open the door, Ivan. Two, two, three, two, four. Two. Tu quería cámara. One, two. Hey, no, listen to this. Today's the only day that is one, two, two, three, one, three. Wait, is it, is it one, one, two, wait, twelve? One, two, three, one, two, three. Exactly. Uh -huh. That's what I said, that's what I said. Oh, okay. I'm trying to get him to start a YouTube channel. Ah! Okay. Oh. E. Yeah, stunning. Tune in, tune in, tune in when the shit drops. Oh my god. <laughs> So what are the odds that I start the new year sick? What are the freaking odds? Yesterday, I woke up from New Year's Eve. Yesterday was January 1st. We didn't go to sleep till 5 o'clock in the morning, okay? I woke up, got ready, and we went to my sister's house because she was making soup. So we went over there. As I'm sitting there, I'm like, man, my throat is starting to bother me a little bit. And for me, my... Um... My, I always notice that like when I'm about to get sick or when I'm getting sick the first it's almost like my body's first defense is my throat I'll always just get like a scratchy throat or I'll like feel like I have to clear my throat anything with my throat so I already knew I'm like my throat feels funny this is always my first symptom and I almost had a feeling this was gonna happen because of how hard I worked in December plus all the things that happened in December like Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, like just all the socializing and all of that plus I was trying to get through Vlogmas I was like bro I already know at the end my body's gonna be like you need to rest so here I am you can hear it I slept horribly last night because my throat was hurting me so bad that it kept waking me up. You can see all my cough drop. Paper mess right there. I was up from like 4 a.m. until about 6. I started watching the sun come up. Mm. It feels like the warmth feels good on my throat. I made, I made a tea last night. Well, Tyler made me a tea last night, a throat comfort tea. But you can hear it in my throat now, or in my voice. And, like, I'm so swollen because I did not sleep. Like, I'm telling you guys, like, we went to bed at, like, 9-something. I woke up around 10.30. I couldn't go back to sleep till around midnight. Then I woke up again at 4, and I didn't go back to sleep until around six and then i woke up again at like 7 45 and i've been awake ever since so i'm like extremely tired so i made myself an espresso i took a puerto rico pod for my mom um and now i'm just laying in bed again because i had so many things to do today so many plans i was gonna film a video take down my christmas tree put away like most of my christmas decor I'm like, yeah, no, that's not happening. So, great way to start the year. And look at my nails. Hey, you guys. What's up? I'm back. I'm back. So, don't sound great at all, but I think 
my body fought off whatever this was mostly yesterday I still don't sound good but I feel a lot better than I did yesterday <sighs> yeah that's that's fun so um, I'm just up making myself some work so I'm uh, coffee I'm cleaning my um, espresso machine which if you didn't know you're supposed to do that you are supposed to do that but I'm making myself some hot coffee because there's some left in the great car. <coughs> but yeah, you are supposed to clean your your um, machines if you've never done it. You'll definitely be disgusted when you do. Okay, well I just used all the energy that I have to do some orders. There's a whole pile right there that I just did. And now I'm exhausted, of course. So um, Tyler's actually making me some breakfast right now. Um, he's making pancakes, eggs. So I'm gonna eat that um, and probably just rest for the rest of the day, which kind of sucks. I did not want to start my year like this, but I, um, Yesterday I received a package from Ana Luisa. This isn't sponsored by the way. You guys know I always say if something's sponsored or not. Um, so I figured I would just show you the pieces. You guys know I wear a lot of Ana Luisa. These bracelets, I have a lot of rings, I have tons of earrings, all that. So I work with them on TikTok. I think I've mentioned that to you guys before. Um, I work with them on TikTok and I have a long-term partnership until February. So these are the last two months. So I pick out jewelry and then they send me five pieces. So I got this cuff right here, which I thought I love like a gold bangle. So I thought this would be really cute. I can either wear it on this hand or this hand. And their jewelry lasts so well. Like it's really, really good jewelry. So I have this cuff. I got this necklace that I thought was so pretty. I love the chain of it as well. Um, but it has this like pearl pearlized like flower sorry i keep flipping so i just thought that was a really pretty pendant to kind of go with the rest of mine and it's very eye-catching so like this freaking pretty there we go it's really really pretty um so i got that and then i also got this ring that i thought you guys know my favorite color is blue so I got this, it has just like a blue um, little stone on it. Thought it'd be super pretty to stack, wear individually, you know, it's just, it's really, really pretty. Um, and I have so many, really like half my jewelry is them. Like these two, I like they're colored jewelry as well both of these rings are in louise and then i have just like plain gold ones so i got this one i thought this was really really pretty they had it in a couple different stones and then i got two pairs of earrings so i got these little dangly hearts i thought these would be really cute for the month of february they're like these tiny dangly rhinestone hearts i figured those would be cute in like my second hole um and then i got these earrings that i thought i like the shape of these a lot there so really excited about those once i'm feeling better i'm going to obviously like film my content for them but i'm not there yet i have to do two videos in the month of january so tyler's making breakfast he made dinner last night too it was very tasty Very impressive. Oh. Just because it popped doesn't mean it's not good. These eggs are too expensive to be giving them to Lenny. Um, I had planned to take down like a lot of my Christmas decorations. I took most of it down, but I had planned to take down my tree. Now at this point, I'm like, I might as well just wait for three kings day. Might as well. 
if I'm feeling up to it, I'm going to take down the garland and the bells. And then um, I'm going to take down that garland and then just take down the wreath that's in the front. And that's pretty much it. That's all the decor we have out still. Our lights are permanent, so they don't come down. Oh, and my reindeer. That's it. My camera did not eat first, but... Here's my breakfast. He made me chocolate chip pancakes with strawberries and then two eggs. Wow, that looks horrible. I'm really frustrated. This is how I'm starting the year. Like, this is not how I wanted to start 2024. At all, ready to start filming. I wanted to film my 2023 favorites. I wanted to do that on New Year's Day, and that's when I started feeling like this. I feel so behind. That's the one thing that sucks about doing this for work you feel like so guilty when you're not feeling well or things happen I finished my breakfast but a couple things that I'm also doing is um, I can't remember if I talked about this in a vlog or not or if I just talked about it to my friends um, I saw this girl um, TikTok say that to help her consumption, how much she consumes, the pressure of wanting to buy things all the time, I think that all of us can kind of fall in that category um, or can kind of relate to that. She, getting my laptop and my notebook, um, just because if I'm going to just lay down, I'm, I want to be productive while I do it. Um, come on, honey. <clears throat> she only allows herself clothing wise or like things for her like wardrobe one item per month and she's like i only let myself buy one thing and she's like so in the entire year she only buys 12 items and she said that it makes her extremely strategic about what she wants to spend her money on whenever she's gonna make a purchase for the month because she's only allowing herself one item, she's very, very, very careful about what she wants to buy because she doesn't want to regret it and wish she would have bought something different. And I kind of like that philosophy or that, that way of going about it because I feel like it's so easy to just be like add to cart and check out, especially on places like Amazon where like you don't even have to put your cart information. It already has it and you just add to cart and literally process the payment and that's it. So I feel like for 2024, I really want to adopt that because I think it's kind of cool. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's a shift in everybody or is, if it's just like everybody's realizing that like we just buy too much shit all the time. Me included. Like, and I don't even shop that often. Like, if you guys can name the last time I did a haul, I don't do hauls because I don't buy things that often because I've always been... I don't, I take that back. I haven't always been. I have been for the last like year or two a lot more, um, I don't know, I guess just thoughtful. I try to be more thoughtful about the things that I'm spending my money on, especially because everything has just become so expensive that it's like, <sighs> Leonard, please. Um, so like for January, obviously I haven't bought anything because I haven't even been able to. Um, but I don't really have like a huge list. However, <clears throat> oh, I didn't even show you guys. You have to go outside? Outside? I'll show you guys right now. I bought, I have been wanting, and I put this on my little graphic that I made, which I'll show you guys the graphic now because I have updated it. 
Let me put this right here. Um. What? I feel my bad twice, so. I got you. Um. Oh, also, I did wear my fringy skirt, my sequin skirt. Um, I'll leave my Instagram link down below if none of you guys follow me there. Um, so you can see my outfit. I loved my outfit. I felt so me and so confident and so good um, because I knew I wanted to wear it in kind of like a more edgy way. I didn't want it to be very glammy because it's sequins. I wanted to balance that out because I'm not that girly of a girl. Um, so I ended up loving it. But anyways... <clears throat> I knew that I wanted a really colorful scarf like it's something that has been on my wish list for months and I was like you know what I'm gonna get a colorful scarf um I had done some research on different places first I was gonna get one on anthropology then I went on Madewell and I just noticed with the fabric all of their fabric is the same it's like nylon and acrylic or acrylic and polyester none of them were wool and granted i live in florida so realistically i don't need wool i don't it's it's too hot here it's barely ever going to be cold enough to even wear a scarf let alone something wool i think if i lived somewhere that was colder and the climate was needing something wool then i would 100 percent invest in a wool scarf or just wool pieces in general but where i live it just doesn't happen and if we end up my goal is for september to have to be so like comfortable in my income with social media that i can get us to amsterdam for the entire month of september if that happens the weather is not super cold in september like when i was there in september in the beginning of september it was like in the 80s and then it at the end of september is when it starts to cool down so i won't need anything super super heavy but anyways so i had gone on anthropology and i went on madewell looking for a scarf that was super colorful like this i wanted color you guys know i love color i am not a neutrals girl at all and whenever i notice that whenever i do get dressed for the fall or the winter i'm usually in solids like i barely very rarely wear print and if i do it's plaid um like i have like tons of plaid coats plaid jackets and all that oh my god this dog is really driving me insane come on annoying ass so anyways, I wanted a scarf that was colorful because I wanted color to stay involved in my wardrobe even through the fall and winter. So I got this scarf on Amazon and I also want to stop ordering, like I don't want to have clothes on Amazon unless it's like something that is super simple and like, because like there's a couple clothing pieces that I bought on Amazon, but I got this scarf. Let me see if I can adjust you guys. And it has every neon or pastel color you can think of. And I just think this is so fun for like an all black outfit or just something boring and you wanting to like revive it. And then with my sneakers, like how fun is that? I already wore these and I'm obsessed with them. Um, but yeah, I am choosing to only buy one item a month i bought that in december so i don't even know if that even counts it doesn't because it's january now so i'm gonna show you guys really quick my i'm sorry i'm very chatty maybe because i haven't vlogged in a long time so i'm like catching you guys up on literally everything so i'm gonna show you right now my i'm like very lethargic i'm also this is the year that i'm getting on like a good vitamin routine because getting sick is ass you pull up my canva real quick and i love doing this and just like putting things together and what i've decided to do in just like my mindset is whenever i am getting dressed and i feel like damn i could really use this item like let's i don't know let's just say it's a black booty damn this would work really well with a black booty but i'm not really sure if i like any of my black booties I'll try on whatever I have, let's say my outfit, I'll put on the black booties. If they don't do what I want them to do, then I know, okay, I really do want to add a black booty to my list. So I um, have already deleted the things that I got. Like I wanted those sneakers, so I deleted that. I wanted a colorful scarf, so I deleted that from the list. Um, and I also wanted a pair of 
medium wash denim and i already got that so now this is kind of where i'm at i think i've showed this to you guys before um but it's a little bit updated so this is like the main page i guess this is my inspiration you can see like a colorful scarf right there you can see the brown boots that i bought a couple of months ago different washes of denim i really want an olive green blazer um, and I am dying for a faux fur coat, like dying. It's something that I really, really want. So this is kind of like my vision. Instead of writing things down that I want, I use the actual image of what I want. The other day I was in Foot Locker and I was getting my nephew Christmas gifts and they had red Puma suede for $19.99 and I'm kicking myself for not getting them because I used to work at Puma. That was like my first adult, I mean, I was 19, so adult retail job. Um, so I'm like a Puma fanatic like I never ever ever wore Adidas like I think I wore Adidas all-stars in my senior year of high school and I love those I love my all-stars, but I Was always a Puma girl and if you didn't know Puma and Adidas are brothers that got into like a huge fight and so one Created Puma Rudolph Dossler created Puma and Adi Dossler created Adidas So I was just always a Puma girl from young and I used to own the suede in black. I had so many Pumas and I loved them. Um, super, super comfortable. And when I saw the red suede, I immediately like got taken back to like my childhood or like my early adulthood. And I was like, oh my God, I love the red suede so much. And I would, I should have just gotten them because <clears throat> they were 19, literally 1999. So maybe that'll be my purchase of this year or of this month. I'm not sure. But aside from that, I really, really want a an elevated black shoe that is not a stiletto heel because i have already lots of high heeled boots i want something that like i could just be wearing a black t-shirt jeans and throw this on and it will elevate it without looking like i'm going somewhere really fancy so i found these boots these are um jeffrey campbell and i love i'll open the link right now and i have everything linked for whenever i want it they're 225 um, and you can see I just love the way that they look like from the top From the side. I love this Look of the leather. I wonder if these are real leather. I've never Description let's see Cracked leather, okay And they're 2.7 inch heel which is perfect like I want a small heel for a boot like I don't know if I'll ever be a kitten heel type of girl But I want a small heeled boot. That's just very easy to walk around in that I can wear Like I said when I want to elevate something without making it too elevated um, And then the only other shoes that I have on here are these I wanted fun colorful shoes because I already have um, Gray I have plenty of white. I have now the green so Those are the two shoes on my list and then coming down I want a pair of solid dark blue straight leg jeans and a solid black like a faded black pair of jeans so those are the two pieces for my like apparel and then i really really freaking want a faux fur coat so bad and then an olive green blazer i don't want this one specifically i think i'm gonna go to a thrift store or a goodwill and find a men's green blazer because i just love men's blazers way more and then accessories i really want oversized totes i used to be a, i think i still have some of my totes i used to be a big tote girl and i just want like one or two like something that's light something that's dark Maybe a fun color. So I have both of these two. I want to get a really good black belt with a good buckle. This one is from Cezanne. But I can also thrift this very, very easily. And then I really want this freaking necklace. It's from a brand called Society Nautique. It's And look at conveniently. It's called the Cora Heart Chain. Which I did not know that. But I love this pendant. And I think that this would be fun to throw in with all of my really dainty necklaces. So yeah, that's basically what's on my list. How many pieces is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten pieces here. That's pretty much what I have for the year. Um, and then I really just want to add a couple basics. Um, I'm, I'm pretty good on like loose tees and stuff like that. Body suits I'm fine on. But I really want a good graphic tee, which I think that I can get that at a thrift store. Like a band tee or something. Just something very casual, very relaxed cool fun colors and then i think that's it my summer wardrobe i feel like i have so much linen so much cotton so many loose button-ups i feel good there i really don't feel like i need anything for my summer wardrobe because i have 
sandals i have so much of it especially because it's always summer here i don't ever feel like i'm lacking in summer clothes because here it's like survival of the fittest in the summer like you just need to wear the least amount of clothes possible a bathing suit and that's it like you don't need to be dressing up because it's too hot anyway that is that's where i'm at in my 12 items journey um there hasn't really been anything that I've seen that I want, so I'm not going to force it. Like, if there's something that I'm like, damn, I really, really like this, then I'll add it. But I don't really feel like I need anything else. Like, I'm pretty happy with what I have in my closet right now. I actually got reached out to from a brand that I worked with in 2023 20, asking if, they want to, if I wanted to work together in 2024 in January. So I'm really excited. I might be locking in my first sponsorship of 2024 yeah they actually just sent me the agreement so um i'm gonna look that over so that i can sign this and get going yesterday my diet consisted of hauls hauls and nyquil cold and flu real fun um so i have no idea where i put my glasses But yeah, I'm gonna do all of that. I have lots of computer stuff that I need to do, um, like adult things. Like I need to, I need to finally change my address now that I have a permanent address. All my stuff goes to like my mom's house. I need to change my address on everything, like my credit card statements, my bank. I literally get no mail here because everything goes to either my mom's house or my brother-in-law's house that I used to live at. So I need to just do like the really boring computer things. I need to finalize this contract with um this brand cheers i'm not gonna lie forcing myself to do a couple things is making me feel a little bit better i'm trying not to do too much um tyler just left to work um and brendolin just passed by to drop off a couple things that i was missing for orders i think i told you guys with the way that we've like emptied out the hq and all that since we're closing down um we literally took half of the inventory so i took half the boxes she took the other half and we've been doing orders like that like i do whatever orders i have and then she does whatever she has but there's of course some orders that she has some stuff and i have some stuff in one order so she pre-packaged all of the ones that she could do and then brought them to my house what was i about to grab What the hell was I about to grab? I don't know. <laughs> I feel stupid. Oh, my phone charger. Um, so yeah, I, I signed the contract that I had to sign for uh, the brand. I started editing this vlog, so I'm just gonna vlog a little bit more because it's only like 20 something minutes and I know how you guys are that if it's not like 40 minutes you don't want it I'm like trying to decide if I should just keep the tree up for three kings and just take all of this down which I think I might do that where's my tripod can't start the new year first vlog without looking for my tripod I want to go through my closet again and kind of like review everything that I have here and up here. There's a lot of things up here, especially I have like a very intense connection with my denim and I need to just let it go because if they don't fit me and I'm not wearing them, there's no point. There's literally no point in keeping them. Um, so anyways, I, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to put the garland my beautiful girls <coughs> my perfect garland oh did that just break how did that just happen this screws in thank the lord i was about to have a heart attack if i broke this my beautiful garland disco balls are gonna go away okay i've got 
my pine cones. And then I think I have some decor down here. Stocking. Sticks away the Christmas tree ones. I burned them a couple times. My wreath, I really would prefer a no, it doesn't fit a wreath um, storage box. Me and Tyler both agreed that instead of putting our Christmas dishes like in storage, like I pulled all of them out right here, I'm going to just make space in one of the cabinets and store all of the seasonal dishware there so that it doesn't get potentially broken when Tyler puts it up in the attic. I'm gonna bring the wreath. I love my wreath so much. In here. I'm just gonna sit it so it's no support up. And now I need a wreath for I have a wreath for Valentine's Day, but I don't know if it's like janky or not. So there we go. All that's left is the Christmas tree. And I'm not even mad at it. At all. I'm gonna have Tyler pull out the mini Christmas tree that's in our bedroom because it's real and I don't know how to, I've never had a real tree. Well, from being an adult, I've never had a real tree. Okay, I've done what I said I wanted to do, so I think I'm gonna chill now. I think I might make myself some soup for lunch, like just like a really nice light little soup. I think I'm just gonna do, I have some grilled chicken, so I might shred that grilled chicken and put it into the soup and do just like veggies. Like I have carrots, I have bell peppers, onions, um potatoes i have broth and i think like that would be good for my throat um so yeah that is what i'm gonna do for the rest of the day um watch some tiktoks just let myself relax because i'm very bad at that um and then i'll show you guys the soup concoction i'm not gonna make it in the crock pot because i want it for lunchtime and it's already two o'clock so i'm probably just gonna like whip it up in the um like in my Dutch oven or something. And then um, for dinner, I took out wings yesterday, so I'm definitely gonna use those wings for today and make it with like mashed potatoes. Just really, really simple and with some veggies and we're good to go. I wish I had the energy to do my nails, but I do not. And I look so hurt. I know this entire vlog minus the clips from New Year's Eve are me just looking like ass and talking, but I didn't get to tell you guys I always tell you guys and I'm going to continue doing it every single year because I like being very honest, very, very transparent and open about making money on social media. I've talked about it for months and I want to continue doing that. I have no issues um, talking about the money that there is to be made on social media. I think it's extremely helpful. Um, especially because in the times that we are now where everybody's just trying to make sure that they're okay financially, I just feel like there's so many ways to make money on the internet now that if you're questioning starting, if you're embarrassed, if you're nervous, I promise you, no one cares as much as you do. If you think that people are going to make fun of you, genuinely, who gives a shit? Who cares? Like, the people that actually care about you will be excited for you, will root for you. All of my closest friends cheer me on, are proud whenever I share like me hitting certain goals or anything like that. Like anyone that actually means something to you or you mean something to is never going to talk shit about you putting up a camera and recording yourself. Like it really truly in the age of in the year of 2024 it really does not matter um so i like talking about this stuff because i feel like people can make so much money on social media and if it's something that you want to do if it's something that you're passionate about if it's something that excites you creating content any of those things just do it like i am here to tell you it is not easy that is for one it is not easy and it takes a very long time of consistency which is why i like to show you guys and talk to you guys about how much money i make every single month because 
you're able to see that everyone doesn't start just vi making viral videos and making tons of money. You have to you have to start somewhere, and everybody does. And I made the decision in July to really start fully taking social media seriously because I know I know that I naturally have influence. I know that people like what i have to say i know that people trust my judgment because they know i'm not a fucking bullshitter although someone there were like two girls that were i don't know what their deal was but they said that i'm the biggest liar on youtube i'm like what the hell am i lying about like you don't think that people that i actually know follow like watch my youtube videos and they'd be able to be like oh she's lying like that is so weird at 33 years of age i don't have anything to lie to strangers about i don't have anything to lie to anybody anybody about especially not people that don't even know me so anyways you guys know that i'm not a bullshitter i'm not going to bullshit my way into something i'm not going to talk about something that i don't like i just that's just not who i am i can't do it and i feel like lying about shit just takes too much work to back up like once you lie you have to defend that lie and then you have to lie to keep the lie going. no that's just way too much work and i don't have time for that so I feel like all of those things have naturally led me to continue growing and also obviously the consistency. It takes a lot of consistency, like a lot. So anyways, in July was when I started to really, really take it seriously and give my all to everything. I wanted sponsorships. I wanted to start making real money on YouTube. I wanted to start monetizing TikTok. I still haven't been able to monetize Instagram, which I need to figure that out like this month. But in January, and I have no issues, like I said, I do not mind showing you guys numbers like so you guys can see it for yourself because I'm not a bullshitter and there's no reason for me to bullshit. So I'm gonna put up, pull up my analytics on YouTube just to show you guys. In July was when I was like, I'm doing this for real, for real, for real. Like I'm not playing games anymore. So this is literally my, it's called your YouTube studio, right? This is where basically like the back end of your YouTube. So you can see here, publishing more helped your channel get 70% more views, blah, blah, blah. It shows everything is in the green, all of my numbers, literally everything. So now I'm going to show you guys the revenue because that's what people care about. So like I'm giving you guys like all the real raw numbers. Okay, I need to clean my screen with, I need to get some glass cleaner and clean it. But anyways, besides the point. So this is my number. These are my numbers from this year, from January. Well, this is this January, so that doesn't count. I've only made $9 because I haven't posted shit. But you can see January, I made 440 February, 359 Um, March, 315 April, 359 So, like, I'm always in, like, the 300 mark. So in July was when I said, I'm doing this shit for real, for real. I'm not playing around anymore. I made $289.06. Since then, it's been what? August, $376. September, $588. October, $723. November, $864. December, I ended the month on YouTube making $1,000. This is the highest I have ever made, ever. And... It's obviously because I uploaded 28 videos in the month of December. That is so many fucking videos. Like, the YouTubers that I know upload maybe like two times a week. And I upload, uploaded 20, 28 videos, which is crazy. But I figured I would show you guys $1,009.12. I won't get paid that until January 21st. I've told you guys many times, you don't get paid. So like January is right now. I have from January 1st to January 31st to make all of my money that I'm going to get paid in February. And in February, I will get paid February 21st. So I get paid on the 21st of every month. And on the 21st, I get paid for the month before. So this $1,009, I will get paid that in January, even though that's what I made in December. So I just wanted to show you guys that because I have been working my fucking ass off. My goal is by July in the next six months, I want to double that. I don't know if it's possible, but I'm working in small increments. I want to hope, let's say January, I hope to make $1,100. I don't know. I'm starting small because this was a really, really big goal and a really big number hit. I don't know. I just thought I'd share that with you guys um, because I always do and I'm very open about it. But I'm about to um, <coughs> make myself some soup real quick and i'm really just gonna use like whatever i have in my 
switch. So, I have my Dutch oven. This is what I always use to make my bread. And I'm probably gonna make myself a little tea as well. So, starting off, I'm gonna put some avocado oil at the base. Some freshly chopped garlic. I have grilled chicken here that I'm gonna put in there and I also have some bell peppers and onions that I'm gonna throw in there. Um, I have some olives that I'm almost like, should I just put those? I've got some spicy chicken broth that I actually really need to use up. I have some mixed vegetables. Yeah. Fresh garlic is gonna do it every single time. I definitely have more energy today than I did yesterday, so I'm very thankful for that. Excuse you. Whip something up, because why not? Let's put, I'll eat this today and tomorrow if anything. I'm gonna put a couple pieces of olive for some brine. This is spicy chicken broth. So I'm excited to try this. We'll let that cook for a little bit and then we'll go adding some more stuff. I threw in my orzo and then I randomly decided to add heavy cream. I don't know, I feel like that would be kind of good. So it's almost like a creamy chicken noodle soup. Soup is the best for this exact reason. Just throw everything that you have in a pot. I put a little bit of seasoning, so I just want to taste it and make sure it's yummy. Indy. See if it tastes good. Um, I've never made this in my life. Ooh, that broth is spicy. <coughs> salt. This is. I need to buy more Himalayan salt. Because this is all I have left, and I refuse to use that iodized shit. Gonna plate it up. I don't have a ladle. I need to buy another one. I just have to use a measuring cup because my ladle I took to my best friend's house and I haven't taken it back. I definitely need to add more broth to what's left. Here's how it looks. Almost looks like chicken pot pie. So what is this? Heavy cream, chicken broth, carrots, um, corn, peas, olives, onions, bell pepper, orzo. Oh, there's green beans in here too. Green bean, chicken, garlic. What'd your dad say to you? vlog with the first Olipop pour of the year. Today I'm doing my favorite flavor because that's just what I want. So we're doing grape. in my new lemon cup, precious. Ooh. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy my soup. 
finish editing this vlog and get it uploaded so I know today was not thrilling this vlog had a little bit of fun in the beginning but excited to start the new year excited to start vlogging for 2024 let's see where this year takes us because I got goals I got goals I hope you enjoyed make sure you are subscribed once I hit 18,000 I am giving away a Tiffany's perfume I've mentioned it in like a couple vlogs like a while back, but I've been literally been saving it um, for months to give away to one of you guys. So um, make sure you're subscribed because I will be doing a giveaway very soon and um, I'll see you guys in the next vlog.